Welcome to Five Sprockets. This is Joe again, and um, I'm going to help you make some credits using Adobe Photoshop CS3 and Final Cut Pro today. Okay, I have Adobe Photoshop CS3 open. Um, first, we're going to start with the credits file. I already have this one pre-done and ready to go. Um, to create your own, you can go up to File and uh, New, and then you can use the video and film uh, setting and basically choose whichever uh, version uh, video and film you want. We're going to do NTSC DV standard def today. That's the format we shot in and also the format of a standard television broadcast at this moment. Click OK and it will automatically set the aspect ratio for you and it's also going to give you your text safe zones already set for you. So basically you just set up your credits within this file and however long they are, you adjust that by going to canvas size and make sure you click on this top middle piece. Basically what that's going to do is it's going to elongate the file from top to bottom and keep your credits uh, basically snapped to the top. And so just to show you what it'll do, we'll say 1000 on that, click OK, and you'll see that it just made it a thousand pixels, but if I had credits up here, it would have kept everything linked to the top and uh, it would have gone downward. And you can adjust the size of this if it's too large by taking the crop tool and cropping it down. So basically, let's take our finished credits file that I've already done and go to Final Cut Pro. All right, now we're in Final Cut Pro. Um, I imported the finished credits file in already, so I'll take that, drag it onto my timeline. And right now it's making it too small, so we'll just double click it, go to motion, and make sure that's set to 100%. And it might be a little fuzzy, but it needs to be rendered, so that's okay. And what I'm going to do is drag this down to the very start, and what I'd like to do is have that fade in at the very beginning. So I'm going to drag this out just for arbitrary time right now and then uh, control click and add a crossfade to the intro. And then if I play that, it'll fade into those credits. And I'd say I'd let it sit there for about, eh, let's just say four seconds. And so I drag that to four seconds or I can click inside the time, and make sure it's perfectly accurate. And once I have that set, I'll double click the file, go to motion, and what I'm going to do is add a keyframe on the center because we're going to move this file up. And what I'll do is pick another arbitrary time and click on another keyframe. And right after I click on it, while it's still on that keyframe, I'll drag it to the very end of the file, which should be right there. And now if I play through it, you'll notice it'll fade in and it'll stay there so you could read the names for a few seconds and then I started dragging it up and it'll get to the end and voila basically I want the credits to roll a little bit slower so what I'll do is grab that second keyframe and pull it to my right and what that's going to do is move it further along the timeline and slow down the action so now when I come back play that again And the credits actually move a little bit slower. And that's about all there is to it.